All right, guys, we are in room 417, and fake Jason has crawled inside this little rafters area, and we are going to do a sensory deprivation. Is there anyone in there with him? Can you tell us how many people are here? Are you deep inside the wall? Were you trapped in there for three days? Well, was it necessary? Why was it necessary to trap somebody in the wall for three days? Can you tell me who I'm speaking to? Is your name Patrick? What's the female's name? Mel's voice and heart. Did you hurt somebody's heart in there? Female's voice says hi. Hi, my name is Jessica. Can you tell me what your name is? Male's voice said bite me. That's not very nice. Are you the man that was laughing at us last time? We heard you laugh. Can you laugh for us again? Can you tell me what your name is? Are there Daniel's just voice is behind you? Are you behind me or are you behind Anthony? If you're behind Anthony, can you knock on one of the boards back there? Knock real loud for us. Female voice said surprise. What are you surprising us about? Are you going to surprise Anthony by standing behind him? Female voice, go to sleep. No, we're not here to sleep. We're here to talk to you. Can you talk to us? Voice behind you. Who are you behind? Where are you standing? Are you the only one in there? Are there more than two of you in there? Are you walking around in there? Tell us who you are. Female's voice again behind me. Is there somebody behind you? Did somebody hurt you back there? Female's voice hurts you. Who hurt you? Is it the male that's back there with you? Female's voice, what'd you think? I think I'd like to know your name. I'm gonna knock on this table out here. Can you finish it for me? Male's voice, bend you over. Did you bend somebody over in there? Can you finish this? Female 
Mel's screaming. Why are you screaming? Mel's voice, get out. No, we're not going anywhere. Female voice behind you. What's going on back there? Tell us who you are. Tell us what you need. Mel's voice underground. Were you buried under the ground here? Did you bury somebody here? There's a lot of construction going on around here. Are you afraid they're gonna find something? Mel's voice late. What's late? Mel's voice, what kind? What kind of what? Mel's voice hurt. Mel's voice hurt. Who's hurt? Are you hurt or did you hurt someone? Female's voice can't talk. Why can't you talk? Is the man in there keeping you from talking? Tell us who hurt you. Male's voice, burn him. Female's voice, uh-huh. Were you in a fire? Female's voice, dark. Shouldn't be dark in there right now. We've got a light in there. Can you walk in front of the light? Show us where you're at. There's a really bright light in there. All you have to do is walk in front of it and we'll know where you're at. Feels like someone's walking in here next to me. Come on, just a little bit further. Just have to walk in front of that light. Can you stand in front of Anthony? Mel's voice says, in the attic. Well, that's about where we're at right now. Were you Mel's up there? Voice, find a way. Find a way to what? What do you need help with? We were upstairs trying to talk to you earlier. Like it's like shaking like right underneath me, it's crazy. Are you moving around in there? Make a knock for us. A real loud one. Tell us where you're at. Walk in front of the light. Mel's voice says Jason. That is Jason in there. We call him Jason. Mel's voice heard his name. Where did you hear his name? We've been talking about him all night. Mel's voice said, really? Yeah, we call him Fake Jason. His real name is Anthony. Can you say his real name? Female's voice, one time. Let's hear you say it just once. How about my name? Do you know what my name is? Mel's voice, beat it. No, we're not going anywhere. We told you, we want to talk to you. I'll make you a deal. You walk in front of that. Playing in the background. You walk in front of that light and we'll leave. Female voice says, gently call me. Tell me what your name is. I have a little ball out here on the bed. Can you touch it for me? Can you make it light up?
Is there too much light in there for you? I'm gonna shut one of these lights off. Mel's voice, fake Jason. Yep, that is fake Jason. That's what his hat says. Can you read what his hat says? Is that how you know his name? Mel's voice, hold on. Why do you want us to hold on? I turned some of the lights out. Is it a little better? Female voice, first blood. No, we're not gonna draw any blood tonight. Can you light up the ball that I put on the bed? All you have to do is touch it. It makes some really pretty colors. Can you tell fake Jason what your name is? Did you dismiss like somebody standing right in front of me? He can feel you. Can you walk into the light so we can see you? Like I feel like something's walking in front of the phone, like blocking the light. Show us where you're at. We really want to say hello and see you. Come out into the room and light up this light on the bed. Mel's voice goes, said go straight in. All you have to do is walk out, walk out that little door. I'm gonna turn the light back on. You'll be able to see where we're at and where the ball is on the bed. Mel's voice said not it. Are we playing tag now? Why don't you tag fake Jason? Let him know he's it. Mel's voice behind you. Yeah, you said you were behind us, but we can't see you. Female screaming. Why are you screaming? What's going on back there? Again, it feels like female voice. At first, we didn't find him. Did somebody get lost back there? Was somebody put back there? Female's voice behind. Show us where you're at behind like him. Somebody standing behind me. Walk in front of him so we can see you on this camera. I've got like intense pressure like right below my shoulder blades. Okay, that's enough Female touching. Voice to get him. No, we're not going to get anybody. Hurt. You are not allowed to hurt him. Uh, uh, uh. That was crazy. Yeah. See me? Yeah. Yep. What is going on, guys? Like, we just wanted to come out here on the balcony and just kind of see if we can get any. Like, catch anything up in those windows up here. Come a little closer, I can't hear you. Oh, just wanted to see if we catch anything up in these windows. Um, yeah, tonight is tonight has been insane so far. And there's um, nobody staying in those upper rooms, so if you see something up there... Yeah, definitely let us know. Pop over the edge right over here and take a picture. You're going to hear cars in the background because we're outside.
actually a really nice night out here tonight. That flash you see is fake Jason taking pictures. We just wanted to come out here just for a few minutes and just let a re record up here and see if we see if we catch anything and then uh, I think we're gonna go back downstairs to the uh, to the chapel and uh, finish up down there and then we're gonna call it a night we've probably been here what four hours yeah three hours a, a good three hours yeah Um, um, we filmed from what five to six. Yeah, and we went, had dinner, and then came back. Seven um, to ten ish. We definitely did a lot more sensory deprivation on this one than we've normally done, but tonight, for whatever reason, we just had a lot of success with it. Like it's super crazy. Like, yeah, I can't even explain it. If you want to help us get an SLS. Definitely donate to Fake Jason Paranormal on PayPal. Oh, I was like, what do I keep hearing? What's the cord? Casting a weird shadow on the. Yeah. I mean, it's very obviously your shadow, but yeah. it just looks funny because it's split in like three different sections. Oh, because of the window? No, I think it's because of the lights behind us. Oh, from the. Yeah. That would have sucked. <laughs> that would have been funny. Ooh. Uh, maybe it was just the way the, the shadow was playing in that second window, but it looked like a head, and it looked like it darted back behind that curtain up there. I mean, it's cool out, but it's, it's, not cool. it's not like freezing. Right. Ready? Put it on that window again for a few minutes. That one is... Which one? The one to the left? Yeah. Left? So, that one? Yeah. Let's see if we can help light it up a little bit more. That looks crazy. It's just the reflection from the fan and the light. Is that a ceiling fan? Yeah. Oh, it's just a weird. Oh no, that's a light light. Is it? I think yeah. it's the reflection from the building. Yeah, it's one of those. It looks like one of those old like. Uh, I don't know. I just can't explain what kind of light, but. It's like an old chandelier light. Yeah. Guys, we are back. Hey, my baby girl. Let me just come do it. I'm just gonna pick it up and do it. A quick turn. There we go. Looking in the mirror, looking at the back of the camera. Yeah. 
can't really see. Like, can you pan it up so they can see the different? Like, this is a really cool looking mirror, guys. I just want you to see what it looks like. Creepy dark time. Creepy dark time. I'm gonna turn the light on. Before you turn the light off. Creepy dark time. Creepy dark time. Okay. Yeah. So let's see what I want. Let's get a little closer to the piano. Oh, Did ooh. you see that? That was an orb. Yes, it was. Let's move it a little close to the piano, so if it does play again, we catch it better. I'll put it right on top of the piano. No, I don't want to be that close. I want to be able to debunk it. This is uh, Anthony and Jessica back in the wedding chapel. Um, we're just about ready to wrap things up for the evening, but we wanted to come in and finish the investigation like where we started it uh, in here. There's somebody in here with us. Uh, Mary, if you're in here with us, can you let yourself be known when you come play one of these keys on the piano? See, the ball's not vibrating this time. No, it's because it's not sitting in there. Mm. If there's anything you'd like to tell us before we leave, now's your chance. You played this for us a couple of times tonight. Can you do it one more time before we go home? Or come interact with this little device right here. That'll let us know that you're here or go ring that bell. Like this bell's gonna work one of these days. I just know it. So it said you were crying in here earlier tonight. Can you tell us why you were crying? Did you not get married? Were you left at the altar? Or did you die before you, you were able to marry uh, your fiance? One more time, can we just get you to play this? That's not gonna say anything. No, not at all. That's all you gotta do. I'm gonna count down for you. And when I hit one, if you could play us one little tune on that, we will leave quicker than shit on the shingle. Five, four, That's three, easy. two, one. All right, we're gonna play this back and see if we were able to get you to interact with us. Um, thank you for tonight. Thank you for all the, uh, the sensory deprivation. Thank you for 
playing your piano for us earlier this evening. We're sorry that you're you're sad and that maybe you got left at the altar. But just a reminder if there's anything that's in here, you have to stay here. You can't come home with us. Alright? Good night. Jessica back in the wedding chapel. Um, we're just about ready to wrap things up for the evening, but we wanted to come in and finish the investigation up where we started it uh, in here. There's somebody in here with us. Uh, Mary, if you're in here with us, can you let yourself be known? Can you come play one of these keys on the piano? to tell us before we leave, now's your chance. You played this for us a couple of times tonight. Can you do it one more time before we go home? Or can we interact with this little device right here? That'll let us know that you're here or go ring that bell. Fail's gonna work one of these days. I just know it. So it said you were crying in here earlier tonight. Can you tell us why you were crying? Did you not get married? Were you left at the altar? Or did you die before? able to marry uh, your fiance? So one more time, can we just get you to play this? Yeah. I think it might have been me walking away from the piano. When I hit one, if you could play this one little tune on it, we will leave quicker than shit on the shingle. Five. Four. Three. Ooh. I think that was the ice machine. Yeah. Thank you for playing the piano for us earlier this evening. We're sorry that you're you're sad and that maybe you got left at the altar. But just a reminder, if there's anything that's in here, you have to stay here. You can't come home with us. Alright? Good night. sound like a gun thing. Again, it's like beating a dead horse. What? I mean, it's possible you shook it when you... Yeah, but my hand, I... 
Stomach's against it, hand right there. I wonder maybe if it's because of where... The vibration? Well, where the, where yeah. the, the strings are at. So we'll put it right there. We'll see. too close we'll pull sure. it back for you to say good night so uh again uh want to give a huge 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 thank you to to patrick uh from the honda side for um getting us uh for taking care of us here tonight in the uh the biltmore thank you to jamie lee for uh being able to rearrange your, your schedule at the last minute uh, for us to switch nights uh, to be able to come in here. Um, she was absolutely amazing. Uh, if there are anybody like around the Reno, Tahoe, California, and you want to come stay up at a hotel that has a lot of activity, I would definitely suggest coming up and staying here um, at the Biltmore. Like, I want to come back up here to stay. Like this place was, it was awesome. Like we got, we got a lot of good evidence. So uh, I can't wait to go home and, and uh, start reviewing things. Um, but like I said, thank you again, uh, Patrick. You're awesome. Like go follow, go like, go subscribe, go donate to the Haunted Side. Um, come, go donate to my channel. Um, so we can be able to go and investigate more places like this. Um, we don't really have anything coming up right now. Uh, I've got a couple of more days off and then I'm pulling like another 15 day stretch at work. So definitely won't be doing anything probably between now until at least after Christmas. And he has a lot of editing to do. Yeah. Um, thank you to Cody and Sean for uh, showing us a good time this weekend, for letting us come and you know investigate with you guys and helping you out. Uh, thanks for the, for the help. Thanks for the, <laughs> thanks for the K2 meter. Uh, we definitely appreciate it. Um, anybody and everybody that's helped us, uh, the Ethereal Sisters, uh, Paranormal, um, Shadow Visions, Paranormal, Jane, Thank you. Uh, Vivian from the Dead Hours. Thank you. Crow of Judas. New Reality. Haunted Side. Cemetery Road. Um, all these channels that we just named off. Please, please go like and subscribe and follow, us, follow everybody. Because we're all here to do the same thing. We're all here to try and capture evidence for people that can't come out and you know do this on their own you got us and we're just like one one just like one big ass family um please go like go subscribe go follow if you can donate donate help us all make uh, more content and uh we have a couple of things we talked about um for maybe in the future for next year for 2021 uh, we'll definitely keep you guys uh, involved in that. Um, follow my channel, YouTube, uh, Fake Jason Paranormal. Uh, my Instagram, uh, Fake underscore Jason underscore Paranormal. And it's the same thing for uh, my TikTok. His um, TikTok is awesome, guys. Yeah, it's getting, I got two videos right now, like over 15, 1400 views each so i mean that's i don't know speaking of which i gotta do one more thing before we wrap up tonight but i'm gonna go grab what i need to grab 
Uh, we're gonna go ahead and stop this and we're gonna say good night and we will catch you all in future episodes and we're gonna see you guys on the flip side. Thank you.